right. It's this seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wanted to share this with you guys. Do you have a Bible? Do you have a Bible? This is one of our tracks. And it presents the gospel in a simple way. Hey, this is my friends. This is Savannah and Marshall. Awesome. Marshall, Savannah, nice to meet you. I'm Brian. Hallelujah. We do this every Sunday. At 3 And if, there, if it's raining or anything, they will do it at the park. Yeah. So, uh, Marshall, you said you have a Bible already? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I want to show you this real quick. This is what Jesus Christ did for all of us, all right? If you look at the first picture right here, Jesus Christ died on the cross mm -hmm. and he died for sinners. He died for all of us. No matter what our sin is, he died for sinners. He was buried in a tomb. And then on the third day, according to the scriptures, he rose from the grave. So he defeated the power of sin, which is death. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So once we see what Jesus has done for us, we could respond to his good news. We could respond by repentance. And repentance is where we turn away. We turn away from our sins and we turn to him. We surrender those things that have hold on us. Because sometimes our sins have hold on us. Right, but Jesus Christ breaks the power of sin. He breaks the power of sin. He comes to set the captives free. So after you turn away from sins, you could be water baptized. And water baptism is your burial. This is where you bury this is where you bury the old life of sin with Jesus. And just as Jesus came up out of the grave, you come up out of a watery grave in Christ Jesus. And God can fill you with His Holy Spirit. And it's His Holy Spirit that can help you live righteously, victoriously, triumphantly, over sin. And so I just wanted to share that with you. I want to share that with you, alright? God bless you guys. Praise the Lord.